take it was a lot of missed emotions league. Disappointed with the start, <laughs> happy with the comeback, disappointed with the end. Yeah, sum it up, yeah, we summed it up well. Um super disappointed with the start. You know, if we're gonna play and like I say, compete in all competitions, we've got to be able to play sort of Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. Um you need the squad to be able to do that. Obviously, I've picked the same starting eleven, which I, f I suppose is fair to be thrown at me, if you like, in that sense. But um, I feel individually the boys have got a responsibility to, to be at their best sort of physically and mentally as much as possible and with the help of us and uh, the aid of all the sort of expertise that we've got. So um, I don't think it was a fitness thing, but I think you see in the second half we, we took over. But I think it was a... Uh, the mental strength to be able to go again when the focus had been so recent, if that makes sense. I think obviously with St Mirren having a lead in uh, to us um, longer, you know, there's a clear preparation there. So I thought they'd done a job on us. I thought that we made poor decisions, um, technical decisions, tactical decisions. You know, we're really dangerous when we get in behind teams and when we stretch teams, and yet. I think it was 19 minutes was our first attempted ball sort of in behind over the top. You know, Martin Ball and Ellie Ewan, and there was ample opportunity to do it as well. Um, and sometimes even if you just gain territory or partial success or turn the opposition, um, you know, you start to pose a threat in behind and then you can pick the shorter option. So it's a, it's a quite clear part of our game plan and, and when we do it well, we're very good at it. Um, but for whatever reason, uh, we didn't. And uh, again, it was poor decision making. So I had to change it. I don't like changing it. I suppose it's an admission of, uh, of getting it wrong or individuals not, not quite producing like we need to. Um, and we get back in the game, uh, you know, through some really good momentum. We, we, we get the crowd going um, and they get us going, you know, and that works sort of as the chicken and the egg with that one, isn't it? Um, but we had a bit of credit back and then and then we give away a really poor goal, you know, I think Joe crosses it straight into the keeper and, you know, if you set that up a hundred times in training uh, with the correct defensive protocol and everybody doing the job properly, there's no way that goal scored. Um, and that was what was disappointing to me, it was, a it was a little bit and we was like it all game, we was lazy in the first uh, half a second of transition. You know, and I thought they were sharper than us uh, in that moment, mainly mentally, but but physically as well. Paying up the still-handed game down this year, I mean, you've got any, any qualms over the reward that came? I actually haven't, you know, I mean, it's you could say it's soft, can't, can't you? But, you know, we had three or four opportunities to, to clear the phase in that, in that little uh, right-back area there. And Joe's dangled a leg, he has caught him, probably, on the bottom of the stud, if you know what I mean, as he, as he chops him inside. Um, and, you know, that's been enough to take him over. So, albeit very light contact, uh, there is there is an element of contact and, and it may have um, knocked the player off, off track. If not, then he's been very clever to go down. Is it a mental challenge just to get that first half second you're talking about? Is that something that gets better the more games you play and the season goes on? But the problem is you've got to have so many games coming that it yeah. I think quickly. Yeah, I think like we've got to get to grips with that quickly because you know, like I said, if you want to compete uh, on all fronts, which we do, it's a bit of a stretch for us. If I'm honest, at the moment, it is a bit of a stretch for us. You know, we're not at that place yet where we can we can boss things, you know, and not be at full tilt. I think that's the key. It's like the gap isn't big enough, or, or it isn't a gap, or it isn't big enough, you know, between the sort of mid block. Um, chasing for sort of third style clubs to be able to not be at your best and expect to win a game. Um, you know, particularly when you can see three goals and, and two or three, in my mind, have been attitude errors. Was one of the positives today that Christian Deutsch showed that he can certainly bring a kind of different element to the attack? Yeah, well, look, I, look, I had to take the decisions off the lads, didn't I, in terms of, you know, the philosophy sometimes almost goes to pot if individuals aren't um, aren't at it. And I felt that the best way to do that was to create a compactness in possession. The best way to do that was was switch the ball and then and then be more direct in our approach. And obviously Christian at that point becomes the main focal point. And I thought he was dangerous. I actually thought the Fondra 
done it quite well as well when he came on, good use of his body. We went for it, you know, the people we had on the pitch, we put Elliot wing back. I hear the groans when you take Martin Boyle off, but, you know, he's <laughs> anybody of any sense understands why, um, given his scenario of match minutes. Um, so, yeah, I feel like tactically it, it was the right thing to do. It got us back in it. I think we were bold with that. Um, and I thought the boys' second half showed it wasn't a fitness f factor. You know, it wasn't fitness, but it, it looked like that in the first half due to maybe not being uh, mentally as focused as we should have been. How tough was it to hear booze both at half time and at full time? I think half time is absolutely fair. You know, um, you know, we we have a crowd that you know when they get behind us, like can really be powerful um, uh, for our for our team performance and. When we scored the first goal like that, you saw that, and, and then we quickly made it. It made it two, so we're never out of the game. There's, there's that. That's an absolute certainty, you know, um, and that's why we need the supporters to, to, even when it's frustrating as it was in the first half, to just believe that we've got a goal or two goals in us. Do you still be in here beyond the transfer window? I do. Yeah, at this moment in time, um, you know, I think that. You know, while somebody's playing, while somebody's in about it, we've had very honest conversations myself and Christian all the way through. Um, and yeah, I feel like you know he's been very strong and sort of uh, and wanting to stay. Um, and that's his prerogative because obviously his contract suggests that. But the one thing I've always been clear with Christian is, is like a there's uh, like we want we want the best for him, if you know what I mean, and b. Like there will be opportunity for game time here. It may not be the absolute guaranteed starter every week, but in the end of the day, that depends on uh, on on producing performances. He was unlucky the other night. It was a perfectly good goal uh, where Dylan Levitt slipped him in, and then he scored. Uh, so he could have had another one on, on in his locker already. Was it double substitution early? Was that mainly tactical or mainly due to the two boys' performances? I suppose a bit of both. Um, you know, just I love Josh to bits. I think Josh is a is a fantastic player. I think he's got goals in him. You know, but like he has to he has to bring his game uh, more often than not. And his game is a is a powerful game. You know, he hits the numbers in terms of he gets in the box. He's big. He can he can win second balls. Um, and for whatever reason, he wasn't on it today. I think he's honest enough to admit that. And, and Alan looked like it was too much for him, uh, two games in four days. So I didn't expect that in the first half hour. Um, it was discussed because that was always the risk. Um, but you also have to give St Mirren a lot of credit for, for the job they've done on us. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Cheers, thank you.